Still in profession because I really enjoy it. I, I like to be able to provide care for people. I like to know that I'm making a difference, whether it's on a day-to-day -day basis or whether it's long term, but being able to influence change and support other members of the health profession as well. So it's both for patient care, but also for other colleagues. In some ways, I think it actually rejuvenates me, you know, being able to see somebody get better and go home or um, look after them towards the end of their life. Um, it just seems to provide for them, which seems to give me more energy to keep going. But having started from an early age probably helps because that's you become comfortable. And I know there's lots of other options, but I've never wanted to step in. I've tried different roles. I've gone through management, education, research and clinical. Um, and there are so many options within nursing that if you get sick of one role, you can go into another. So you can actually provide, have many careers within one career. So if you are feeling burnt out or don't get that passion for patient care, there's other options. And I've done that on several occasions where I've stepped back and gone into something different that's less stressful for me at the time and then moved again. So nursing has got so many different options. I think a lot of the reason that people don't want to come back or do leave, and I know a lot of new graduates leave in, not, not a lot, but there's the, a number of the new graduates that do leave in the early years is because they find the workload too heavy um, and they don't find compa compassion necessarily amongst their colleagues. There isn't always the support from colleagues who are also burnt out. I think that's essentially why nurses used to stay in nursing when, when they were students was because they had their, the support of their colleagues and their friends around. Um, workplaces that have an active social um, calendar do tend to, that means that they, if, if people attend, that means they're happier and they do tend to stay longer. So it's important that um, the work groups actually have a bit of time out together as a social thing that will then strengthen the teamwork and um, hopefully people stay in the workplace longer. There's pressures everywhere, but you can actually look at what are the skills that the person has that you can use in another area and get them to actively look, seek jobs in other areas um, or support rotations through different areas. You know, through a mentoring program, if employers actually had position, rotating positions available, they could take people out of the clinical, move them into other areas, then move them back, sort of to help keep people within the profession but not let them burn out. And unfortunately, health runs on crisis management. Um, you have to give people the time and the support to be able to step back so they can think of solutions. Um, people are busy doing all the time, but they actually don't have time to sit and work out the hard problems. There should be programs available, but I don't think that there are many programs available for people to rotate. Because of that reason is, is I need to keep these people, but it's a very short-term view. It's not, um, it's a bit like bringing people back into the profession in a hospital saying, well, I'm not doing that because they don't want to work with us. Whereas if I support that person coming back in to the workforce, that's another nurse that's available out there. Um, so government policies and, and employer policies that um, only think about their own workplace, so creating longer term problems in their own workplace.